Hello guys, welcome back to episode 3 of Player Profiles. Today we're going to be looking at someone a little bit different, Joseph Ilicic. Now, I don't know if some of you are aware, but let me tell you now, this guy has been through some bad stuff in his life. So let's get into it, both on and off the field, with Joseph Ilicic. Born in Priodor, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Ilicic started his career playing in the youth teams of Triglov Kranj and then later Britov. Joseph began his professional career with Slovenian side Bonifica, where he played for a season in the Slovenian second division, aged just 19. It was there where his talents were spotted by Interblock, where he stayed two seasons playing at Slovenian's highest level. Despite being one of the best players at the club and Slovenian's top footballing prospect, Ilicic finished that season as a reserve player. Aged 21, Ilicic contemplated an idea of finishing his playing career altogether. He wanted to return to futsal, which was his passion, and to find a job, just like a normal bloke. However, a few weeks later, he received a phone call from Zlatko Zahovic, who was the director of football at Maribor at the time, who proposed he should sign for the club. In a life-changing decision, Ilicic took the offer immediately and moved to Slovenia's second biggest city, where he made a big impact from the start as he scored twice in a Europa League qualifying match against Hibernian in July of 2010. He then scored again in the return leg of the Europa League playoff round against Palermo, and on the very next day, it was confirmed Palermo acquired Ilicic from Maribor for a permanent move for just £2.3 million. Ilicic debuted for Palermo in Syria against reigning champions Inter. He played the full 90 minutes and even bagged himself a debut goal. His good performances against Italy's elite continued, scoring goals against Juve in September, Fiorentina in October and Roma in November of that season, thus signing a five-year contract renewal with Palermo. However, in the following season, Joseph Ilicic struggled to make an impact, mostly due to Javier Pastore, his midfield partner, signing for PSG in a record bid, and Ilicic only provided two goals as a result. Despite this, he did stay on the following year, being paired with new signing Franco Brianza in a 3-41 formation set up by new head coach Gian Piero Gasparini. In 2013, Palermo sold Ilicic to rivals Fiorentina, for a reported sum of £9 million. He scored six goals in his first season with the club, however the 14-15 season was more successful for him, finishing as the club's top scorer in all competitions with 10 goals, alongside Mario Gomez. In 2017, Atalanta signed Ilicic from Fiorentina for £5.5 million, after Fiorentina declined to offer him a new contract. The Slovenian got the ball rolling for his new team, netting 11 times in a 7th place finish in his opening campaign. The following season, he scored 12 times in a historic campaign for Atalanta, finishing 3rd in the table, earning themselves a spot in the 2019-20 UEFA Champions League group stage for the first time in their history. He was also awarded a spot in the 2018-19 Serie A Team of the Year. In January 2020, Ilicic scored a hat-trick, including a free-kick goal from the halfway line in a 7-0 win over Torino. In March 2020, Ilicic scored all four of Atalanta's goals in a round 16 match away at Valencia, securing a 4-3 win and progressing to the quarter-finals. It was such a good performance, he broke two records in the game, becoming the first player in the history of the competition to score four goals in an away leg, and the oldest player to score four in a match at age 32, surpassing the legend himself, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. After spending five years with the club, his contract with Atalanta was terminated by mutual consent in August of 2022. Overall, Josip made 173 appearances for the club, scoring 60 goals. After an illustrious 12-year spell of playing Serie A, Ilicic returned home to Slovenia, joining his former club Maribor. Ilicic made his international debut for Slovenian's under-20 side in 2008 against Croatia. He played for the under-21s in 2009 and 2010. However, unfortunately, Joseph missed out on the 2010 World Cup in South Africa. 
A predominantly left-footed player, Ilicic is capable of playing as a second striker, wide midfielder or winger in a 4-2-3-1 or 4-3-1-2 system. His former Palermo coach, Bortolo Muti, believed that the 4-3-3 system was the perfect formation for his characteristics as it allowed him to be deployed on the right flank, a position from which he could cut inside and strike on goal with his stronger left foot. A powerful and accurate striker of the ball, in particular from distance, he is highly regarded for his dribbling technique, creativity, as well as his physical strength, leadership and instinctive play on the pitch. He is also known for his feints and is a deadly set-piece and penalty taker. While he is known for his composure, ability to find space and eye for goal, he is also an excellent assist provider, courtesy of his vision, crossing and outside the foot passes. Furthermore, he is a grafter who possesses quick feet, poise and elegance in possession, despite his tall stature and lack of acceleration and pace. In the 2019-20 campaign, Ilicic contracted coronavirus. He missed the last seven games of the season, including a quarter-final Champions League defeat to PSG, as he was allowed to return home to Slovenia. Reports in Italy claim the 32-year-old has not been in the right frame of mind to come back after being diagnosed. His teammate Papu Gomez confirmed Ilicic was indeed depressed in an interview to Italian media. As you can see here, Josep Ilicic gained a substantial amount of weight in the space of just two years. Poor Josep Ilicic didn't have it easier early on in his career either. He met his wife Tina Polovina in 2009 and soon enough married her. They had two daughters, Sofia and Victoria. The Slovenian striker slipped into depression after finding his wife in bed with another man when he decided to pay her a surprise visit at their country home in Slovenia. Joseph didn't have it easy in childhood either, as when he was just one year old, his father was tragically killed. Therefore, Joseph's mother fled with the remnants of the family from their war-torn hometown in Bosnia and Herzegovina to the sporting hotbed of Kranj in Slovenia. And this is where the Slovenian striker was made. Right guys, thank you for watching. If anyone has made it through the entire 8 minute video, please comment down below with the word sponge. I know it's random, but I'm just interested to see how many people actually watch my videos. Uh, just trying to grow the channel out there, so if you could leave a like, comment and maybe even subscribe, it would help me massively. And also comment below any other players you'd like me to do a profile on.